beautiful people you are welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so today we'll be making thai neck cow kaftan so you are welcome let's get started to cut our fabric i have decided to cut on the floor so that you can see you can have a clear view of everything we'll be doing here so this is six yards of african print and when you're making this kind of style it's good to make it with fabric that is not so thick so it will help it to drape okay so it's usually good with um silk chiffon and all that but this african print is not so thick so from this six yards of african print i'll cut out the length of the gown okay so the length is 56 inches so what i'll do is this i would measure 56 inches but i'll add one inch for hemming okay so i'll just measure 57 i would measure 57 inches then i would fold it so 57 inches this is for one side let's say for the front now i will fold it to get the back so after taking your length and you fold this is what I'll be making use of. Okay, so I'm cutting off this other part. So let me cut it off, then show you the next thing to do. So after cutting it off, make sure you fold what you have. Fold it equally. Then you fold again like so. So you fold it equally. Have folded now we have the full length of our dress so no need of placing length anymore we have gotten the length so the next thing is to mark the new points okay so in this case the new point is 36 inches so i'll mark the new point 36 so i've marked the new point so please make sure you use the wrong side of your fabric okay so mark on the wrong side so I've marked the new point. The next thing now is to place the neck line. So since I'm cutting the back and the front together, I would place the back neck line and the front neck line, but I'll cut them separately. So for the width, I'm using three inches for the width. So three inches for the width. Then the back depth is one inch. So this is the back depth, one inch, okay? Then the front depth is 4.5. So the front depth is 4.5. So I'll just curve it. But I'll cut it out after cutting the back. So you know it's time neck. We'll have... Um, sort of a collar there okay so now for the shoulder it depends on what you want i'm using the whole fabric so if the fabric you have is wider is too wide you can now measure what you want okay you measure what you want on this side from your neck to where you want your sleeve to get to that is the measurement you place here but i'm using the whole of the african print because i want it a bit long Okay, the clients want it a bit long. So by the time you have done that now, at this side, at this edge, or where you have taken, where you have marked the length of the shoulder, you know it is Doman sleeve. It is that uh, the sleeve is together with the with the dress. So I'll come down here by one inch for my shoulder slope. Okay. So I've marked one inch for my shoulder slope. I'll connect it to the neck width. So here it is. I've marked my shoulder slope. Okay. So having done this now, you would take the sleeve. So you measure the round sleeve. That is the sleeve roundness. So it depends on what you want. If you want it fitted, that is just your your real round sleeve. You place here. But I want it a bit open. Then I'll use the elastic to make it hold. Okay. So what I need is actually 10 inches but i'll add one inch for seam allowance because we'll be stitching it so i marked 11 inches okay so this is for the sleeve now by the time you have marked it just go in by one inch 
Okay, mark one inch. And at this point, tell you mark one inch. Just come down by half inch. Okay, so just step down by half inch like so. Go in by one inch, then you mark one inch, I mean half inch down. So I decide to use chalk that is uh, obvious, okay? So go in by one inch. So from this point to this point is my sleeve opening. So you just go in, then come down by half inch. When you have done this, you come to the new points. You come to where you mark, mark your new point. From this side, okay? Now, you come to the new point. At this new point, you would take, you would place your round hip measurement divided by four. Round hip divided by four. In this case, the round hip is 44. Divide by four, that's 11 inches. Then I'll add two inches. Okay, 11 inches. Add two inches for ease. Okay, so that is 13 inches. Then one inch for seam allowance. That is 14 inches. Now mark it. So I hope this is clear. Round hip divided by four plus two inches for ease and one inch for seam allowance. You mark it. So by the time I have marked it, I would connect it to this point here. From here, you make a curve. Okay, you connect from this point to this half inch step down using a curve. So curve be depending on how you want it, how full you want it. Okay, so I'll just trace it. So you just go depending on what you want. So let me just use a dot to see if I like what I have. Okay, so now I would connect. So you can even go after that is you can come out a little bit so can you see the shape we have there so can you see it so let me just add a little more so that i'll have you know i have it draping very well so let me just add some more and here it is okay so when you have gotten the shape there you come to the hem the same measurement you have here, that is what you add here. Okay, the same measurement you have here, that is what you use here. But you can add ease if you're not going to have slit. If you're not going to have slit opening, add ease so that the person can move freely. Okay, so I had 14 inches there. 14 inches. So I'll add 2 inches for ease. So that the person can move freely. You can add even 3. So I will, let me use three. If it's too wide, I would shape it because she's an elderly woman. She doesn't want anything tight at the lower part there. So she wants to be able to move freely. So let me use it this way. By the time I see if it is too wide, I can trim it. I can shape it more for her. But for now, we will use this. So you just connect it to the new point like so. So, I don't know if you can see the shape we have here. So, this is it. So, I'll go ahead now and cut it out. So, I've cut out this part and the shoulder slope, as you can see. So, what is remaining now is to cut the neck line, okay? So, I'll cut the back neck line. I will move the back and cut the front neck line. So, don't make a mistake of cutting the front first. You end up having the same... Uh, depth for back and front. So we are making um, a collar, you know, it's tie neck. So I'll cut off the back, I'll move the back and cut the front neckline. So let me do that. So I've cut out the back. Now I will move it. Okay, so remove the back. Then arrange your fabric again and cut the front neckline. So here it is. So this is the shape we have, as you can see. And this client wants pocket for him on this kaftan. So I will show you how you can fix pocket to the kaftan as well. Okay. So to stitch it, you join the front and the back together, and you will stitch the um, shoulder slope. You stitch up this point. 
okay so by the time i stitch up this point i would also stitch this point as well from here like this all the way down but like i said the client wants pocket so the pocket will be around the waist area so i'll measure from the top to where i have the waist okay i'll just come down a little bit like one inches from the waist and i'll fix the pocket okay so i'll show you how to do that so you stitch here you stitch here you go to this place to fix the pocket i'll continue the stitching all the way down so after stitching we also cut our fabric for making the tie neck okay so let's do just that so i've stitched the shoulders you can see and we we'll have our sleeve here so this point will be open but this is what i'll do i would stitch it by one inch in so that i'll pass elastic through it okay so i'll just open it up like so then i would stitch it so i'll do that before closing up this point so it will be easy so you just fold it so if your if your edge is not smooth you can double fold okay then by the time you've done that you close this point up to the hemming and that up to the end of the dress but i said i'll be adding pocket yes this client loves pocket in her in all her gown no matter the style so to add pockets i would measure um i'll take like one or two inches after the waist you know where we usually have pocket on the gown so for her where the pocket is as in where we'll be having the pocket is 22 inches from the shoulder okay so 22 inches so this is where around it should the pocket to be around this side so let me just mark it so this is where we'll be having the pocket from here then to whatever the length of the pocket will get to. so let me show you how to cut the pocket okay so we'll place this aside from the pieces that i got out from the from the dress while cutting it i can get pocket from here okay so i'll just place it on fold you can place it on fold but if you have like two pieces you place on each other like this then you position your hand you know this is how it puts our hand inside our pocket so you just you spread it open so the pocket can be wide enough then you just trace it okay it can be any shape it doesn't really have to be so nice or so beautiful per se <laughs> but at least let the hand be able to go in okay so that's how we usually place our hand to draw it so i'll just make it wide a little bit because by the time i stitch it will reduce so just cut this okay so this is the shape of the pocket i'll cut it out now so we have two here for one side of the pocket so i'll use this to cut another one for the other side of the pocket so i decide to just cut a little bit outside the mark for head for stitching so this is the shape we have okay so this is for one side of the pocket so i'll use it to cut another one so i think i can get it from this side So this is my pocket and how do i fix it so to sew the pocket now this is where i marked for the pocket okay from the shoulder to 22 inches around that's like um for for this client now it's one inch after her waist because that's where she really like the pocket to be so it can be one inch can be two inches after the waist even sometimes up to three inches so it will just be between your waist and hip okay so when you have marked where you, the pocket will start now you take one piece for this side okay so this is how you place it so just watch this is how you place it this is the wrong side of the fabric so you place your pocket from that point like so you will stitch you will stitch it this way okay so just like saying the right side of the pocket 
to the right side of the fabric okay so you place it and you stitch let me hold it down with my pin so this is how you stitch it on the wrong side so at, at the good side of the fabric you have it like this okay so don't mind the chalk i have here. i actually cut i marked on the right side of the fabric while i was illustrating okay so this is it then this one is for this side then you take the other one the good side of your pockets on this side of the fabric it's like this so you pin it or you just go ahead and stitch it so i'm just pinning it for the purpose of the lesson so that you see what we have so this is how you stitch this side and you stitch this side then you have your pockets okay so now by the time you have folded your sleeve and you stitch you stitch like this you come to the pocket side okay by the time you stitch like this you come to the pocket side you're going to stitch like so you go around the pocket and you come to this side then you continue stitching okay all the way down so that is just it so this pocket will be around the you know this side where we have the the folds or the curve okay so that is it i'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and i'll show you what we have so i have folded and stitched the sleeve as you can see so i left a little space where i pass the elastic through and i have sewn the pockets and they stitched all the way down so for the sleeve this is the elastic i'll be using so i would i measured the client's round arm okay the round arm at this point is 12 inches so i cut 12 inches on my elastic so i'll use safety pin to pass it through okay so you can either do it this way or you just take the actual round sleeve of the person and you stitch okay so you can just take the actual round sleeve and you stitch it so but i just want it to have a little uh, you know yeah, that there that is why i'm using elastic so just pass it through so i will use my pin now to just hold it so that it doesn't go back inside so i'll just hold it down with my pin and i'll fix the other elastic then i'll go back to the sewing machine and close it up okay so i'll go and uh, stitch it after arranging it well so you can see what i have here okay so this is just how it will be so I'll just stitch it here and I'll do the same for the other side. Okay, then I'll show you how to cut the tie neck. So I'll be using chiffon for that. I'll be using this chiffon for the collar. So I've sewn the sleeve, you can see it. And the, here is the pocket. Okay, so for the neckline, so I have my chiffon fabric here so it measures 60 inches okay the length is 60 inches and i'll be using it like that so it will be two inches wide but because i need allowance for joining it to the neckline i will take three inches so you have to fold okay you fold it and you cut so i'll fold it this way and i'll measure three inches So I'll measure three inches and I will cut it straight. Okay, so let me do just that. So the easy way to do this is you can fold it. Just place it on fold. Like so. And you fold again. Okay, so make sure the edges are equal. So, or you can just place it there. You measure your three inches and cut. So let me do just that. So I've cut out my three inches and here it is. So at the edge here, I'll just slant it a little bit like so. So let me mark it so that you can see. So I'll just 
plant it. Because I want it to be sharp at this end, okay? So this is what I have. So having done this now, I would stitch it. But before that, I would measure my neckline. Okay? So from one point of my neckline, I would just measure to the other. That is, from this point, I'll measure back to that point and know what I have. So I'll just measure like so. So I have 23.5 inches. So the round neckline is 23.5 inches. So that unfold because the fabric is unfold. Okay, so I'll just find the midpoint of 23.5. Okay, so the midpoint is 11.75. So wherever you have it, just mark it. Okay. So this is it, like so. So this is where I have it. Yeah, this is just close to 12. Okay, I'm just marking it with chalk so I can see. Now, I will stitch this other side. This is where I've marked, this is where we we'll go to the neckline and this is the excess that will be used for tying it. So I would stitch it. Remember, it's on fold. So let me open it up. Let me just open it. So I would notch it for easy that I'll be able to find the two sides. So let me just notch it. Give it a little notch. So I've notched it. Okay. So now I'll open it up. So I'll stitch this part from where I notched, as you can see. From where I notched, I'll stitch this part. Okay. So what I'll do is to close up this side. I'll stitch from this side, like this, up to this point that I notched. Okay. And the same thing I'll do on this side too. I would close up this point and stitch to this point that I notched. So this other side will remain open. And that is where we'll go around the neck. Okay. So. This is what I'll do now. Let me go ahead and stitch this side and I'll show you the next thing to do, okay? So I have stitched it up to the point I notched, as you can see. So this part, this side you can see is open, okay? Then this side is so so stitched, okay? So now this side that's open is the side that will go around the neck, like so. Why this side is remaining part for tying. So now, to fix it on my neckline, I would mark where I want it to be. So it can be by the side. You can actually decide to sew it by the side, like this. Okay, so you can decide to sew it by the side. You can decide to sew it at the center. So the client wants it at the center here. So whichever side you want it to be. So since it will be at the center, what I'll do is just to find the midpoint of the round neckline. Okay? Just find the midpoint. So here is the midpoint at the back. So I'll start stitching from there. So by the time you have marked the midpoint, you also find the midpoint of this one, of the space between this side and this side. Okay, this open space. Now, I will fold it to find the midpoint. I will just fold it like so. So, here is the midpoint. Okay. You can either notch it or you will use your chalk to mark it. So, I will just give it a little notch there. So I'll just give it a little notch, okay? So this is the midpoint. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I will use my pin 
to set it round so that you see what we are supposed to do now starting from the back midpoint where i notched or where i marked and the the chiffon where i notched i will just place it like so okay so now the good side of the chiffon this is the good side because if you look at where i stitched up to this is the good side so the good side to the good side of the gown we place it this way because we'll be stitching inside okay so i would hold it down with pin at that point so i've held it down now i would go around so from this point i will stitch all the way to the front where i want it to be okay so to just get to the front here then from this other side i'll do the same thing okay so let me pin it down and you see what i mean so i've pinned it all around okay and this is how you stitch it okay so you can see to the center where i where i would stop so i'll stitch it to that point now by the time i finish stitching you know on this side by the time i finish stitching it like so all the part i have with pin after stitching it then i'll fold this one over so remember i notched it so this part that i notched will still come to the midpoint so by the time i get there i'll just fold it a little bit and top stitch so the same thing i'll do all round and top stitch okay and we'll have our color so let me do that by the time i'm done it will be clearer to you okay so that is just how it will be just to have neat work inside by the time you stitch like so you fold this one in and you stop stitch so that will cover the seam it will cover this seam okay and you have a neat finishing there and they will have it like so so let me do that and you would see the final look of this dress so by the time i am done with this I would also hem the lower part and the dress will be complete so i've stitched the collar okay the tiny you can see what i have here after stitching it inside then like i explained i folded this one over and stitched okay so that it will be neat inside you can see so this is it so let me place it on the mannequin you see the art look of this dress okay and here it is hope you like this video give it a like and if you're yet to subscribe subscribe to this channel for more videos see you in my next video remain blessed